Hello, everybody. Say hello to my 4GT. Yep, I got to go in it and drive in it and roll with it. Have some fun. <laughs> it's a AFX. Which also you can see AFX. This is a expensive little toy I have just bought. And if you want to, I can turn my light on. As soon as I find it. Plug in my racetrack. And I can turn my light on. Which is still on. Just like that. Boom! Down here. So this little car. Expensive. But worth it. Well worth it. Now, we're over here. Start cutting the control a little bit. Why don't you get the rhythm? That's barely, that's just like maybe a hair on the throttle. Just like, that's it. She's quick. She wants to track though. Kind of sucks, but I think if I get the duck fur off of it, Yep, this is what it looks like right here. Click the series. Uh, clear, here you can see. And they have like different values of the 4GT, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm watching Ford versus Ferrari, which is a good, good, good movie. Don't mind this cord. I found out. The early Ford GTs ain't ready really made in the United States. You're like, what? Yeah, they are. No, not technically according to a uh, Ford vs. Ferrari movie. It says otherwise, but watch this stuff. When was the first Ford GT built? Uh, hang on. <clears throat> Where was the Ford GT made made at? Get rid of this. According to Wikipedia, the Ford GT40 is an American high-performance endurance racing car. The MKI, MK2, and MK3 variants were designed and built in England based upon the British Lola MK6. Okay, and also it says built in the United States, which kind of weird because the last time I seen it, it came from Spain, which Shelby imported it from Spain. Or something like that. I guess they're in England? Okay, so England, whatever. Uh, based upon the British, the Loa MK6, just like this says, and then built. Which, these, um, watching the Ford GT movie, um, or Ford versus Ferrari, the Shelby and other thing, like you can see Carl Shelby, and anyway, him, but it's the actor playing him. Uh, welding and kind of constructing car and everything like that, making a prototype and everything it was pretty cool. The car actually came from overseas, and then I guess Carol Shelby added some stuff to it. Made it, I don't know how you want to say it, but that's the way I've seen the movie, and it tells you the history and stuff like that more than I can. But yeah, that was just kind of cool how I found out like the Ford GT actually ain't made in the United States, it actually was brought over to the United States. Well, I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, but say like you want my Ford GT like I just bought for your saw car. Well, there you go. Here's a rough idea. Like this is the car I bought. As you can tell, he has six available. Yes, I did pay $57.99 plus $4.99 to ship it. Yeah, around 60 bucks. What we do? Well worth it. 
Car is nice. Car is a lot of fun. And also I have a computer chair coming here soon, so can't wait for that open box video. It should be here on the 8th, I'm hoping. And I'll keep you all posted on that and putting together and everything else and do a review. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of fun. This is the chair that I'm talking about right here. It's the best one I went for because of right here. Yes, 100 bucks, free shipping. So about, I think it was 120, I think, with tax. But it is well worth it. So I'm gonna try it out and see how well it, it really is. And go from there. I mean, it's a racing car seat, come on. <laughs> Why not? Everybody else has one and I always wanted one, but I don't wanna spend like quite a bit of money. And this is like the 